hello everybody i'm here at this property um one of the toilets broke uh the tank broke so i want to inspect it and uh, i'm afraid that we have to replace the toilet because we don't stock tanks and, uh, and it's an older toilet so we might have to replace it with a newer uh more efficient toilet so let's take a look at it So this is the toilet, if you see here, it's crud here, the tank, you never seen a tank like this. Okay, that's weird. So we don't have a tank to replace it with, so we're going to replace the whole toilet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the wire off. It's been off because the customer turned it off, so that's good. So, um, so we have to get rid of the water that is inside there. Uh, there's almost nothing, so I'm gonna place something underneath here. And I'm gonna remove this nut. This is the shuttle valve, and this is the water supply line to the toilet. This is a 7-8 water hose, water supply. So we're gonna undo this and you have to expect some water so that's why we're putting that container in there to catch the water. And it's always a good idea to wear gloves especially when you're working with toilets so no, nothing much came out of there so that's good. So now because we're gonna remove the tank we don't have, we don't want a mess of water, so we're gonna remove that water that is there, or maybe not. I just put a few paper towels in there to suck up the water. So they would, this would do it for now. There's not much water there. I usually have my two gallon uh, water shop back. I remove the water from here and with the water from the tank. But that, that's in another property. I, I forgot it there yesterday when I did another plumbing job. So now we have to remove this screws. And these two screws, one on the left and one on the right. Those are holding the toilet down to the floor. Okay, so I remove the um, nut and then I have to remove the two washers and now it's ready. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now I'm ready to lift the toilet up, but we have a problem here. It's been cocked here, if you see. This is white silicone. So, um, in my opinion, it's not a good idea to cock it because you never know when it's leaking. And uh, if this was a second floor, you don't know until uh, the ceiling downstairs is falling apart. So please do not cock toilets unless the uh, floor is broken and it looks ugly. But uh, if you smell sewage, it's because the wax ring has fell and you have to replace it. So it is not a good idea to cock toilets. So now we're gonna break this. The so this floor was installed around the toilet. That's why it was cocked. So we have to do the same at the end. Now that I broke loose all the cock around, we're gonna remove the toilet. We're gonna lift it up. I'm gonna put a paper towel right there. I'm gonna 
I lift it up and then it comes. So this is how it looks. It seems like uh, two floors have been um, installed around the toilet. The proper way is to remove the toilet and install the floor and then you do your toilet on top. But as uh, you'll be surprised, it's not always the case. So now I'm gonna clean up. We're gonna remove this toilet bolt and now we're gonna clean all the old wax. This is old and hopefully our flange is still good. I removed all the broken tiles inside here and uh, we have two problems. Problem number one is that the floor, we have like quarter of an inch, uh, this is lower. They build up like two or three floors around the toilet. So now when I remove this toilet, you see this problem here. I'm gonna patch this with concrete so it brings it up to a level surface. And my problem number two is that my flange is going to be under the floor level line. And uh, so we might have to put a racer so it's a quarter of an inch on top of the floor level. Now since we're going to be here for a while it's always good to cover this hole so you don't breathe all the nasty stuff. So I patched my floor Remember it was a quarter of an inch under, below the surface, below the floor. So um, I used this quick setting cement. It takes 10 to 20 minutes to dry. And uh, I fixed my flange as well. And what I did, I put a extender for the flange. This is about 3 8 And um, because my uh, cast iron flange was sitting 1 8 below, so you don't want anything below, you want uh, your flange supposed to be on top of the floor. So since I have a cast iron flange, what I did is I drilled through these holes and then I put a screws, if you see these screws. And these are the um, one inch self drilling screws and then my flange is secured. So um, remember you have to drill the uh, cast iron flange otherwise the self-drilling screws will not go in. So you have, you have to help them. So now we're going to install our toilet. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you later. If you like this video or if it was beneficial to you, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.